how to discuss these levels of organization. And uh, first, we have the characteristics of life practice set number one. Again, if you need to access the video or the lecture out of this, you can visit the Google Classroom. Uh, no, not Google Classroom. The Google Sheet that I placed uh, below the below of the, below the video coming from this teacher. Okay. So characteristics of life practice set number one. A level of biological organization where it is in where is the interaction of all the biotic and abiotic part is known as. Okay, the answer here is letter B, ecosystem. So, again, uh, once we say ecosystem is composed of the living and the non-living things, but once we say once we say community, these are all uh, living things. So, community is a living things that are interacting together. Okay, for example, the humans, the dogs, the trees, and all the plants. So, all the living, all the living uh, population in the system. Okay. So that is a community. Okay. Next, once we have this population, a population, uh, a population must have the same organisms. Okay, they must belong on the same species. For example, we talk about the population of humans. We also talk about the population of dogs. We also talk about the population of cats. So once you say population, once you count this population, this uh, terminologies must apply with an organism in the same species. Okay? So, number two, a makahiya plant holds when touch. What do we call this response? Well, this is stigmotropism simply because they respond to any mechanical uh, stimulus. Number three, in photosynthesis, plants use energy from sunlight to convert carbon dioxide, gas, and water into sugar molecules. Which of these is the correct description of the properties of life? This is not tropism, okay? Because uh, we talk about the production of energy. So this is also not tropism, geotropism. So we are choice with metabolism, catabolism, and metabolism, anabolism. Since we are forming a larger molecules, so photosynthesis is a form of metabolism, anabolism okay because from the smaller molecules you want to have sugar molecule which is a larger molecule okay so remember that a photosynthesis is from carbon dioxide to c6h12o6 okay so from carbon dioxide to sugar we we, we from a series of chemical reaction the carbon dioxide becomes sugar okay so just a bit of reminder to for you to understand uh, catabolism or memorize catabolism. Catabolism is cut, 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 cut. Okay? That's why you can uh, simply recognize catabolism. Okay? Ah, how about number four? Which of the following is not one of the seven properties of life? Okay, so this one is easy because the answer here is growth, heredity, and responsiveness are all properties of life. Movement, because not, not for example, not all... Uh, not all living organisms will gonna move, right? So, for example, a starfish will just stay, or a coral will just gonna stay on that place. There's no locomotion, there's no movement. So, movement is not the characteristic for the properties of life. Next, number five, what is homeostasis? Uh, homeostasis is the process of maintaining a stable internal environment. Okay, uh, I think uh, for number five, let me just... Uh, Correct the option here. You might see the answer already. For the number five, the answer is letter A, right? The process of maintaining stable internal environment. And of course, the number six, let me just type. The number six here is letter C, pollination. Okay? So, number six, which of these is an example of a sex war, of sex war reproduction? Okay. Parthogenesis, asexual, budding is asexual, sporogenesis, asexual, and pollination is sexual simply because it has these gametes. So that's why plants also produce sexually, and that is pollination. Okay, so thank you very much for listening.